Hello everyone, my name is Avery and today I'm going to show you guys how to get real-time stock data on Python using a library that's called Alpha Vantage. So basically for example, if you were to go on Google and just type in a ticker of a stock, it will tell you its price, it can tell you some other information, and on Yahoo Finance you can do the same thing. And what these websites do, they use some sort of back-end library to be able to get this, inf get this information. Yahoo has their own library, uh, Google has their own API, but every once in a while their APIs shut down, every once in a while their APIs aren't that great. So today I'm going to be using an API called Alpha Vantage, which is a Python enabled API you guys can use. And it's, it's pretty simple. So what you want to do is, I'll have this link in the description, you want to click on the Get API key, put in a software developer, you can put an investor if you want. and just going for my name. And then you just gotta put in your email. Let's put in that email. Oop. Not a robot. And then just gonna get you a key. So what you wanna do with this key, you just gonna copy and paste that. And now you're gonna make a directory. So make directory looks called A B for Alpha Advantage. C D in there. So now we're gonna make a file called keys. You can use whatever editor you want. You just want to paste that in there. So if you have multiple emails, you can go through and add a couple emails in here. You can just add a couple keys into here. So now we're gonna do poll. This will be the name of the program for pulling the stock data. And you're just gonna set it to Python. So user bin and maybe Python three. And now we're going to want to import something called pandas, which is basically the way that database is read with alpha advantage. So it's going to be, say, from alpha advantage, then a time series. Import time series. So let's go ahead and save out of this. And let's install this library. So you do pip3 install, and it's just Alpha Vantage like that. Oh, so. And it says I've already installed it, but once you get that, you'll have it all installed. Now let's return back to the file. Now we're going to want to import system because we're going to be using system to put an argument for the stock ticker. So we can even do that right now. And set ticker equals string. So I need to throw it as a string. And it'll just be sys the arg v in the first argument. And now we want to be able to read in our key. So we can do something else called import random. Now what you want to do is you're just going to set uh, lines equals open and keys, which is the name of the file that we put the key in. We'll just do read, do split lines. So basically now if you just do lines zero, it'll give you the first line, do lines one. But now we're gonna want to randomly place it in. So we're gonna say key equals random choice. And throw in lines. So now for example, if this file has a bunch of different ones, It'll randomly just pull out a key from there. So you don't need to do it because with Alpha Vantage, there's, uh, there's a couple different options for pricing. And the default option, it's going to be able to still get all the indicators like it says right here. But you can only get a certain amount of polls, a certain amount of requests, and within a minute and within a day. So the more keys you have, the, the better it is. You can switch back and forth. But then, if you're only working more on this, you can go ahead and Alpha Vantage. You can go ahead and uh, pay monthly for um, more request options. So we need to set this time variable. And this time variable is going to be using the time series. So we can set time series to key. Send that one to key. An actual variable that we just made. Output format. And we'll set that to pandas. Pandas, like I said, is the 
a database library that's used by the Alpha Advantage. And now what we're going to do is data we time that get intraday because we want to be getting intraday stock information. The symbol we can set that to ticker. And the interval we're going to set that to one minute. So if you go in here documentations, you can see they have all the specifications for all these things. But just look right here, there's one minute, there's five minute, fifteen. So there's all these examples you can look at just under the doc page. Set it to one minute and output size full. <coughs> so now it's gonna actually read in the information. So you can just do print tickers. So Display the ticker, print data, display the data. So now let's make this runnable. Now let's try running it. Let's pull an apple. That's probably some equal sign. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, so I need to. It's probably because this is the exact same name. Let's just throw that in right there. See if that fixes it. Okay. So, as you can tell, took an apple, it reprinted it, and then it gives you some information. Um, as you can tell, you asked for minute one minute at a time the interval so it's giving you every single minute as the open, the high, the low, the close, and the volume of the trade. And then down here there's a little more information just stating what's displayed here. But basically that's the simplest way to use this program. You can just put a different ticker in there. Uh, maybe it's something new with the ticker, but put a different one and it'll display it. So Google, this is the worth, of how much they opened the last minute, that's how much they closed, that's the highest, lowest, and how much they closed in the last minute, and their trade volume. So I'm going to have this link put in the description for Alpha Vantage. You can go through and look through these. There's daily adjusted, there's a lot of options, and they have a lot of stuff you can get. You can calculate the RSI, you can get more cash flow options, and Everything's really in here. You can do it intraday, you can do it monthly, weekly, daily. You just need to set your interval to everything. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and put a like before you do subscribe. I make a lot of videos like these, just basic programming tutorials. And thanks, always, for checking out. Bye.